So this was a 55-year-old male with crushing mid-sternal chest pain. The pain was constant, dull, and radiated to his left shoulder and left arm. The pain onset was while he was walking. He was lightheaded, short of breath, and that's what made him call 911. Now, on arrival, paramedics found the patient to be ashed appearing, diaphoretic, and pretty ill appearing, although his blood pressure was okay at the time. Uh, here is his pre-hospital ECG. Take a look at it. Go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can piece things together and see what makes sense to you. Now, this was a, um, a patient who was, like I said, ill-appearing. The paramedics called this a STEMI with a left bundle branch block pattern. They called the receiving hospital, but the receiving physician claimed that one couldn't really identify an ST elevation in the setting of a left bundle branch block pattern and therefore the cath lab was not activated. Uh, once again, go ahead and take a look at this and uh, let's look at concordance. If you look at concordance, that, what that means is really that the J point goes in the same direction as the QRS complex. So here, for example, in V5, the QRS goes upward, it's positive, and the J point is elevated also. Again, here in V6, the QRS is positive, and the J point goes in the same direction. That is called concordance, positive concordance. Now, uh, once again, here, look at V1, 2, and 3. In V2 and 3 especially, the QRS goes downwards and the J point follows the same path, goes downwards. So that's, that's another example of concordance. Now, the case outcome was interesting because while in the emergency department, the patient had ongoing chest pain, was seen by the cardiologist, the interventionalists, uh, and it was uh, felt as though he was having an ST elevation in the setting of a left bundle branch block pattern. He was taken directly to the cath lab and where he was shown to have a 100% occlusion of the left circumflex artery. <clears throat> now, the simplified scarborough criteria is actually really helpful because it tells us that when you have concordant ST elevations greater than one millimeter in any one lead, not in two you know, um, consecutive leads, but in any one lead, that is really important and that's diagnostic of a STEMI. Uh, and if you have concordant ST depressions, in leads V1, 2, or 3, that too can be diagnostic of a STEMI. Uh, and disregard, you know, depressions in uh, concordant depressions in leads V4 through 6, or discordant changes uh, that are uh, really uh, not quite, uh, quite studied yet. So we don't really pay too much attention to that. So uh, there we go. This patient had both. This patient had concordant S elevations in the uh, lateral leads and um, ST depressions, concordant ST depressions in the right precordial leads. This was actually an inferior lateral STEMI. And here we see, you know, inferior leads showing elevations in 2, 3, and F, and in leads V5 and 6, and depressions in leads V2 and V3. Um, and the patient, in fact, turned out to have a 100% circumflex occlusion got a stent, ended just fine. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining me on Master Your Medics. Until next week, this is Sush Presti. We'll see you later.